Good evening, ladies and genitals. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you guys? So, if you clicked on this video, it is because today we are going to talk about this for the third, fourth, maybe? I don't know. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. I don't care how many times we talked about it, but the final time. Yes, ladies and genitals, today we are doing a skincare routine. Drop your skincare routine, drop your skincare routine. <laughs> We need to see a skincare routine. And I've done it before. I don't know, my skincare has changed a lot over the past couple months. I'm finally at a place where I don't need to change it anymore. Like I'm 100% content with what I'm doing for my skin. My skin fluctuates a lot back and forth from being really fucking gross to really fucking good. Right now we're at a state of really fucking good and we've been in this state for a long while now and I'm very happy with it and I've made a lot of progress and my skincare routine is so simple now and I've just never been so happy. If you know, then you know. Like, you know what it's like to, like, try a bunch of different things and, like, nothing work or something work for a while and then it doesn't work anymore. It just ain't cute. Like, you just need to find, like, a home base in your skincare routine and something that works for you and you don't want to change anything and it's just perfect. It's just perfect. And that's where I am right now. I literally feel like my skincare routine is perfect. So I thought, why not share with you guys my updated 2019 final skincare routine? This is probably the last time I'm ever going to do this on my channel. I don't think I need to do it anymore after this because, personally, I don't think I need to change this anymore. Like I said, I'm very happy with what I do now, so let that be it. <laughs> so let's just dive into things really quickly, give you guys a little preface on everything when it comes to me and my skin. Personally, yes, voice crack. Don't take it personal. So I get a lot of cystic acne, and if you don't know what cystic acne is, it's like the acne that exists like under your skin and is super lumpy and gross and like so hard to get rid of. A lot of people go on like Accutane and all these things to like combat it and go to like dermatologists to actually like get shit done when it comes to it and I try to avoid doing that at all costs not gonna lie like I don't want to go to a dermatologist I don't want to take Accutane I don't want to get blood tests every month I don't want to stop drinking because I'm taking Accutane like we know like I'm a <laughs> I'm a thriving young 20 year old living my best life. So obviously I wanna do everything I can to avoid going to a dermatologist for skin problems every month. I want to like just have a normal routine like the rest of the cool kids with the perfect skin, right? So I get cystic acne really badly from a lot of the foods I eat. I'm allergic to wheat, soy, dairy, various types of fish. And the allergy itself isn't big to where I am gonna like choke up and die. It's very small actually to where my body still is just rejecting it, but it's rejecting it through my my skin, all over my face, my back, all that good stuff. It's really, really ugly. I, for one, think it's very important to love yourself. You should not let your skin dictate who you are as a person because it doesn't. What matters is on the inside, but I know how it feels to hate what you're seeing on the outside and to start to hate yourself on the inside. I know what it's like to look in the mirror and be like, damn, I'm fucking ugly. Like, I don't like that. So I use the word ugly lightly. I'm not saying you yourself are ugly, but I know what it's like to feel ugly, okay? Okay. I I used to have really bad skin and now here we are today. I look pretty good. Like I'm very confident with what I see. Obviously things take time and it's gonna get even better, should I say, as time goes on. Let's just share with you what I do right now. So first things first, I use the Curology Cleanser. It's an amazing cleanser. It's very light. It just gets the job done. It doesn't clog your pores. It actually just does a great job at unclogging your pores. And believe it or not, a lot of cleansers clog your pores because of certain ingredients in them. I know coconut oil can be a popular ingredient in moisturizers and cleansers and it actually actually clogs your pores, believe it or not. No. Uh-huh. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> and one thing I did learn just recently, I was watching a video by Tati, Glam Life Guru. I was watching her video about skincare products. She was throwing away a bunch of different products that she found reasons why they were not good for your skin. And I learned that a lot of fragrances are actually really bad for your skin. And this has no fragrance in it. So, sold. Just recently, I went and got a facial. If you guys saw my last vlog, I got a chemical peel slash facial type thing. The lady that was like handling my skin told me that using a spin brush can actually be very harsh on your skin skin, anything with bristles is not good for your skin. So I was using the Duval spin brush, but it has bristles. So what did I do? Throw it away. Not throw it away, but like I don't use it anymore. I don't know if it's something that's like bad for everyone's skin, but I have sensitive skin, so I decided not to use it anymore. She said that silicone based brushes can be very good for your skin in terms of like not being too harsh and like damaging your skin. Vanity Planet, if you're ever looking to like do a deal with me, I don't know why I've reached out to you guys multiple times, but something about me you guys just aren't liking. I know you guys have silicone heads, so I'm like, if you want me to promote your silicone heads, bang my fucking line, Vanity Planet. I literally just put like a little bit 
bit of that cleanser on my hands and then like, you know, wash my face. I wash my hands before too. Make sure you wash your hands. Don't slack off and be like those gross ass people that just like quickly wash their hands. Like get the whole like two minutes, get under your fingernails, all that stuff, the soap, like warm water. Responsibly wash your hands if you're gonna use your hands as a tool for washing your face. Don't be dumb. After that, I go in with, I go in with the M405 brush, the Curology Moisturizer, and this also so Oh, everything. I have tried so many different moisturizers, and I kid you not, this is the best one I've ever, ever found. Bury me with this. What I like about the Curology Moisturizer is it's super light, and you can apply as much as you want. A lot of different skin types take different amount of moisturizers. I, for one, use four pumps of this moisturizer every day and night after I wash my face. One pump here, one pump here, one pump here, and then like some for the neck area. I feel like that's the perfect amount for me, and it's super light. You do not feel like your pores are being clogged at all. It's insane. It's waterproof. Base. So that slaps. I know a lot of moisturizers are a lot thicker and they clog your pores and it's like you're putting lotion on your face. I used to use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and I did like that for a really long time until I got to a point where I was noticing my skin being very greasy almost and I think I was over moisturizing my skin. That is why this is my favorite because you literally, it's so light, you're not gonna apply too much. You're just gonna give yourself an amount and if you need more, you need more. And also sometimes I will need more in certain areas like my nose can get really dry sometimes so I'll take like a little half pump and just like put it there and then rub it in like this is amazing This is amazing in the mornings if I'm feeling like I want to be like a little glowy girl Throughout the rest of the day I will use this pixie hydrating milk mist Yeah, so good so good I got it. Anyways, I use this. I'll give myself a couple spritzes on my face and like, you know, like shower in it real quick if I want to be more like glowy or if I feel like I need a little more moisture in my skin this day because it's going to be like really cold and dry or something like that. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which I don't know if you guys know this, but it's very good for like trapping moisture or like retaining moisture in your skin. I don't know. I'm like looking at you in your eyes right now, like as if I know what I'm fully talking about and I kind of don't, but like hyaluronic acid I know is really good for either retaining moisture like trapping it which is kind of like the same thing I really like this pixie beauty spritzy spritz spritz hydrating milky mist I'm gonna link every product down below by the way you guys just so you guys know and I'll use that after I moisturize and then that's it that's literally all I do in the daytime like that's it 100% it okay but in the nighttime I have a little bit of a different routine after I wash my face I go in with the yes go in with the glow tonic to go exfoliating toner pads they're literally like your typical I'm trying to think of what other brand makes things like these uh, it's like aqua Oxy. I used to use Oxy ones when I was like way younger when I was in high school But I like these ones because they have 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera in them And if you don't know now, you know glycolic acid is one of those things that like really helps for exfoliating your skin And I feel like 5% is like a really good amount that won't overdo it to your skin like every night So I think it's like really good in terms of getting off the rest of the dirt on your face because they are toner pads I just really like that it has glycolic acid in it It doesn't really over dry my face because I moisturize after bing bada boom and it's so simple literally they're called to go just throw it in the bag like sold this comes with 60 pads in them which means 60 days aka two months I got both of these pixie beauty things at playlist live last year there was a little room where they're doing like quick facials and like giving out the products and I was like why not try them out? And I actually fell in love with these, which is kind of cool because normally, like, I don't really trust anyone when it comes to skincare products with my skin because you don't know what it's like. Yeah, I really like that I was able to find these products just, like, out of the blue. And then, ladies and genitals, what you've all been waiting for, the, like, 100% by far, like, most amazing product I have come across in my entire life. Literally, I'm not even being dramatic either. Like, my entire life. The Curology Night cream. Let me tell you a little story about me and Curology. I had seen them on Instagram a lot and I was like, okay, like just another skincare company, but I was also kind of intrigued because I saw like their results and everything like that and I was like, what's the tea? And then I had seen that our beloved clout queen, Emma Chamberlain, was like the face of Curology for like a short period of time. I was like, yo, I want to know if it's actually good. So I hit her up and was like, hey girl, like Curology, I saw you like it. Like, do you actually like it or like, is it about the money? Because you know how YouTubers can be, like just promoting shit, just promote shit and collect their coin and go. And she told me that she actually really liked the product. So I was like, yo, that's kind of cool. Like I had wanted to try them. Now I really want to try them because one of my friends 
friends actually likes the product. So then I hit up Curology and was like, hey girl, like what's the tea? Like I want to try you guys out. You guys want to send me something for free and I'll post about you? Like let's sponsor me. And they were super excited that me wanted to try it too because they had seen where my skin was and like where I wanted to go with it and they were so nice about it. And I was just like so happy that they wanted to work together because hello, who am I? Like why do you want to work with me? I'm Amari Stewart. Hi, nice to meet you. What this cream itself is, is a night cream that you apply every single night. Just one and a half pumps. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm even wasting this on like this right now, but like, I'm like... It's literally just a cream that you put on every night. Oh my god, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> that is the worst thing to do with that. Now by this time, you're probably wondering what exactly is Curology. Curology is an online skincare provider. It's super, super easy to sign up. All you do is go online to Curology.com or click the link down below in my description because, hello, who am I? I'm a YouTuber without links? No. And to begin, you fill out a skin quiz. You talk about the things that you don't like in your skin, such as clogged pores, dark marks, acne scarring, whatever it may be. I personally said I wanted to fix the texture of my skin, unclog my pores like dark marks, things like that, because that's what I was really insecure about. After you've completed the skin quiz, you're gonna go ahead and upload some selfies of the front of your face, the left side of your face, and the right side of your face. This is where I'm gonna put the pictures that I uploaded right here, because they were busted and beat, and now I'm blessed and beautiful. After you fill out your skin quiz, you get connected with a skincare provider from Curology headquarters, or wherever the place is. My provider is named C. Kearney. Hey girl, she's a queen. If you're watching this, hi, thanks for everything. So in my bottle, she put 4% azelic acid, 1% clindamycin, and 0.25% zinc pure Yes, English. So then, they customize your formula. It'll be on its way to you. So easy. Such a good price, too. If you click the link down below, you get your first bottle for free. You just pay $4.95 for shipping and handling. $5 for a bottle of Curology. Hello? $5 to be beautiful. <laughs> I've been using Curology for about seven months now. Looking back at the pictures and looking at the ones I have, like, now, like, when I compare the way I used to look and how I used to feel, it's insane how competent and good I feel about myself again, and I'm just like, I owe Curology my life. The texture of my skin has changed so much. My skin type has changed so much. I used to have super oily skin and I used to have very lumpy, like gross, scarred up skin. And now my skin is phenomenal. Phenomenal. I could never, ever, ever say thank you to someone. And it's so efficient with the fact that I don't have to go in somewhere physically and see them every month. Like it just comes to me. And if I have a problem with the bottle, I just tell them, hey, I don't like this. And they say, hey, okay, then let's crack down on it and make things work for you because they truly do care about all of their customers and I've never seen that so much in a brand and everything like that. So for me to see that personally, like as a consumer, I was like, wow, that's kind of awesome. All you CEOs and office hosts watching me right now at Curology, like corporate, hi. Like I love you guys. Thank you for loving me. So with that being said, all in all, that's my entire skincare routine. Nothing more, nothing less. I do go get chemical peels now, but I have only gotten one. If you haven't seen my last video on that, go ahead and click that in the description below too. Very simple, very fast. I've never had a skincare routine this efficient. I cannot believe the amount of progress my skin has made and yeah with that being said I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to comment them down below because obviously I want to know what's going on with you guys or what you guys want to know about my skincare routine or any of the products I have linked or talked about in the video I hope this has helped you in some way shape or form or influenced you to like really take action when it comes to like your skin and everything like that but keep it light keep it simple keep it short don't do anything that's like too acidic for your skin you don't want to like fuck up your skin with all that salicylic acid or like benzoyl peroxide I've been there it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you did not enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs down. Follow me on all of my social media linked downstairs. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications so you never miss one of my uploads that are just very spontaneous and random. I love you guys. Bye!